Now, Newton, when he was very young, he was sitting under an apple tree. And as the story goes, the apple falls off a tree and hits his head. So, this got him thinking, why does the apple fall off a tree onto the ground? In fact, if you have tried this at you know different apple trees in the garden, the effect will be the same. No matter where he is in the garden, the apple will drop right straight to the ground. In fact, no matter which continent he was at, the apple would have landed right to the ground as if it's going towards the center of the earth. And the lines or the, the gray lines that I've just drawn are the gravitational field lines caused by the earth interacting with the apple. You will hear the concept of field lines again in later topics when we are learning about electric fields and magnetic field. But the general idea of field is always the same. Basically, a field describes the region of space when two objects interact with each other. Scientists use field lines to represent the direction of forces. So in this case, for a gravitational field, we are looking at the interaction of the two objects, which is the Earth and, say, an apple. The gravitational field lines drawn in grey arrows represent the direction of the gravitational force acting on the apple caused by the Earth. Now, a little bit of extension for those who are interested. Newton's law of gravitation states that the gravitational force caused by two objects of different masses, say m and small m, is equal to a gravitational constant, google for that value, the constant is, like the name suggests, a constant, regardless of whatever objects we are talking about, multiplied by the two masses, divided by the distance between the two masses squared. Gravitational force is actually very, very small, um, unless we are talking about very, very big masses. Now, if I look at the mass of the Earth, the gravitational constant, and for a distance that is near to the surface of the Earth, this fraction will simplify to become 9.81 all right and you can simply see that the gravitational force uh, of objects that reside near to the surface of the earth is given by mg and there you go from newton's law of gravitation i have now derived the very common w equals to mg equation